When the ancient Egyptians first started wearing copper bracelets and working in copper, they found two things. One is the wrist went green, but the other one, which was beneficial, was that the joints didn't ache quite so much. Well, all that sanding and sawing and filing, I should say, that I've done on the Blooming steam engine, it made me right over it. I'd, um, I've had 16 years of winding handles like that with it, and it's got pretty worn out. I've had my seatbelt locked off for a year or two. Anyway, I've got one somewhere and I can't find it, so I thought, oh, I'll make one. Ever such a simple one that's not a, a decorative fancy piece. So, what I've done is I've annealed that piece of copper that softened it. Funny thing, metal, isn't it? If you get a piece of steel, like a chisel or a file or something like that, you heat it up and then you quench it to harden it. And of course it's got to be quenched at the right temperature. But with copper, which is work hardening it's called, to soften it, you just heat it up and dip it in some water, quench it. It's simple. And it makes it all almost soft as plasticine. You can see that I can bend it with my finger. Didn't quite get that all done, there's a little hard bit there. Anyway, all I'm going to do is see if I can make two. Just very simple ones and clean them up. It shouldn't take long. I might do a flat one and I'm going to see if I can do a half round one. Because I've got very small wrists, like watching things. I didn't wear a watch for years, but it irritates me. So if this irritates me more than... You know, my shoulder does, it'll come off of course. Anyway, let's have a go and see how we get on. So I'm only doing it quickly and you can decorate it as much as you want. Obviously, you know, the sky's the limit. Do it however you want. You know, as much as you want, imagination's limitless. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can do a flat one. And I'll do that first. I'm not doing this very well. I'll tell you, it's very soft and I'm trying not to crush it or mark it. That's why we're messing about a bit. But these little junior hacks will soon whiz through things. You don't know, anything much to do with this. In fact, if you have an open fire, you can just put it in the fire when it's hot and it won't be nearly, well, lightly glowing red hot. Don't need to be absolutely red up, but it doesn't matter what you do. As I say, it gets ever so soft, you know, especially that end that's been done well. As I say, this end, I think there's a little bit on here that didn't get done much. So all I'm going to do is first of all straighten it. And this is where I haven't got any soft jaws. So I'm doing using two pieces of wood to try and not mark it too much. So we'll see how we go on. So to start with, I'm just going to put that in there and straighten it, always, and just twist it round. As I say, I've got to hold I mean, that bit while I shut the vise. It's not the best way of doing things, is it? But it'll be near enough. I've only got to bend it when I'm finished, haven't I? Like I say, there's a bit this end. That didn't quite get annealed properly, so it would be a bit tough. But I'm not worried about that. And then just to see if you've got enough, as I say, I don't know how much I want really, but I just, if you hold it on your wrist and run it round like that, yeah, I've got plenty. It joins there, we don't need that end bit. So, the first one I'm going to do is flatten it. See how this comes out. If it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. You know, I'm not really very worried. But the best way to do this to start with, rather than hammer it, is just to nip it in the vise and crush it. Which it should do quite easily. Oh. There we are. That's done that. Like I said, there's a piece on the end. It wants a little bit more, so we'll have to hammer that. Quite easily done. 
I put that on there and just see where we're working. Yeah, we're working there, aren't we? You'll be able to see it now. I'm not really doing very much at all. I'll use this mallet because it's a big, it's a rubber one. I don't want to, the hammer bits downstairs, so I'll use this. And we'll just do this flat. Just make a flat one to start with. Yeah, that's going flat. I'll do it that way. As I say, it doesn't matter if it bends it because we've got to bend it again at the end, don't we? So that doesn't matter. As I say, there's a little bit up here that didn't, because I did it in my furnace, a little bit didn't get done very well. But it flats just the same, you've just got to do it a bit more. I'll clean it up, of course, before it's done. And uh, as I say, I'll, this one, I'll put a bit of simple decoration on. I'll use that little bit I had in the vice to do it, I think. You see, that's come all right. In fact, it's come perfect because I wanted on the outside, I wanted a slight uh, hollow in it, which I've got. Both ways, look at that. That's perfect, that is. So I'll make sure I've got enough. Yes, that's plenty. And I'll cut it off here. This will be easier to do because I can obviously hold this bit in. So we'll just saw this off. I'll move that there. I'll just saw this off because I'm working here. I'll just say I'm, I'm thinking of a different way but I was lucky you know you've seen me using these cutting loads of bits with these junior axles well my friend from London <coughs> sorry a friend had someone in London and was the old chap who died and a few years ago he brought me loads of bits and pieces so uh, that's the end of them it'll need a little bit cutting off probably so, if I use this rubber hammer, it won't mark it, you see. That's a general plan. It's so soft, you've got to just tap it ever so lightly. Once it's softened, and that's it done, more or less. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to polish it. So we'll, I'll treat me that to it. A polisher on the the wheel there. I'll just put it like that. You didn't near it. It's not a big job, just a bit of metal polish on. And just see what it comes up like. Well I know what it'll come up like, I should say. I know what it'll come up like, it'll come up brilliantly. It'll come up black though. show you that bit can you see the difference don't worry about that bit of crud on it see that's come good so I'll, I'll just stop it there and finish that off I'm not going to bore you too much well I've done that look and as you can see it's all right now it's not perfect it's got one or two marks and it's not even and that that's how I want it I don't want it to look a new one you know I'm doing it for me. That's how I like things. So that'll do. I'm just going to see if this will 
put these marks on or not, if it's worth doing or not, I'm not sure. This is pretty worn out and this is only on the back side. No, it's not doing a very good job actually. I'm going to leave that. That idea hasn't quite worked. It's alright because I, I might cut a little piece off. I'm going to leave it just shiny like that. I quite like it like that. So all I've got to do now is to bend it round my wrist and do the ends. Find out the size and do the ends. So, as I say, it's so soft now you know you can well you've got to be careful not to over bend it because I want it all the way around so the ends that bit's easy of course that bit will fit and you can bend it round your wrist nearly but just because that bit is a little well it was a bit softer it's not now that wants bending slightly. So it won't mark it. Just do it right on a bit of pipe really. That's what we want. A bit of smallish pipe. I'll have to find a piece. I'm sure we'll there we are. That'll do it. Starting it because I've got to cut that off, you see, a bit shorter. So let's see if we can bend it round like this. Uh, I want some mole bricks, don't I? That's what I want. Bricks to hold it and just bend it round like that. That's the easiest way. Just hold it on there. As I say, I'm doing this all off the cuff, you know, we're not, uh, we're not planning on, well, there's no planning going to this or anything, it's just, I hadn't got any, as I say, I've got one somewhere, and I wore it a year ago, I mean many years ago, and it did work a bit, that's the thing, it certainly worked, and, uh, but it irritated me, so that's why I took it off, and, so long ago I can't find it now so I thought well that's why I'm not going to an awful lot of trouble to do this because I'm not sure whether it will work or not you know it might it might irritate me more than it's worth having so uh, really ideally if we had a fire I'll put this back in and re-anneal it because as I said coppers actually work hard me and we've got to come to there, so the easiest thing to do is do too tight a bend to start with, or a fairly tight one, and just keep doing it gradually. And uh, up to both ends, because like I say, the end bit is going to be cut off, so it doesn't matter. And. Uh, have a look at that. We've got to keep buying it up, haven't we? It wants to go round a bit more to the really that's oh that's perfect there that is. Yeah. That's perfect there. You can actually see how you know as I say it does want re-annealing again really because it's work hardening and it, it goes stiff pretty quickly but as you saw at the start, I mean the minute you've Softened it, my neck, it's, it's like butter nearly. So it's got to be a little bit of messing about. This is 
but I'll just do one end. There we are, it's coming on, see? That's about what you want. Let's cut about there. Now I'll show you how to do the end. So what I'll do, I'll finish the other end off and cut it off and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the ends. Well we've got that about shaped. Need a little bit of finishing off. Just flat it on here. On me a bit of wood so as not to mark it. Yeah. And uh, as I say, when the thing is, you say, to put it on your wrist, you've got to open it anyway. <laughs> so you fit it when it's uh, when you've finished it. So we're just going to do the ends now. And I can hold it lightly in the vise. And then I'm going to, I'll polish it again before I'm done. But all I'm going to do is just use a small file. <coughs> small smooth file and the thing is it does need to be very smooth on the edges very smooth because obviously you don't want it digging in your wrist here so once I've done this let me know if you need glasses I can't see what I'm doing that's better right as I say this is for me you know, it's not an art and crafts exhibition. I'm just going to try it. I did make one before, as I say, a long time ago. And I've no idea where it's gone. Otherwise, I'll be making another one. Uh, I just want a piece of copper. You, you could get that piece of copper pipe and just wrap it round your wrist. That's all you need, isn't it? You know, it doesn't have to be very anything very special. But this does, however have to be very smooth because it can also it'll irritate your wrist and dig in and we don't want that obviously so as I say we'll just have to do the final fitting when I put it on obviously you can't do it before you do and uh, I, I did it in my forge you see and it heats up as quickly as it spread and you only want it well, it's barely red hot, so you can barely see it, is the best way. Anyway, do that. As I said, these have got to be very smooth. So then, you want to emery it on the end. Just like that, look. It's nothing, nothing very much. But this, you do have to go to some trouble. For this you do have to go to a little bit of trouble with it because if you if you get any of these sharp bits it doesn't now how it works well people don't know really but apparently your body absorbs a tiny microscopic bit of copper and uh, it helps with joint pain as I say and so if this irritates me it will soon come off I can assure you you know, but uh, if it makes me shoulder and hips and that a little bit better, we'll leave it on. You know, like everything. It's like wearing a wristwatch, isn't it? I don't know if you still, a lot of people don't. I don't bother now. I'm, that's only a cheap phone, as you know. But uh, I, uh, I, you know, I need that. Mind you, when I made the clock, like I said, I don't need to know the time. Well, very rarely do I need to know the time now for going racing. You know, I need to know, you know, we leave King Clean at sort of two o'clock when it starts at six, get there at four, or it starts at, normally starts at five. But anyway, I leave it at two. You know, I know that. And when I've got Scumthorpe, which is nearer, and it starts at five, I leave at three, and it takes an hour and a bit to get there, and I'm an hour wandering around. Um, you know, I don't have television now, I'm at my home. And if I do want to watch Earth and I play, it's a brilliant way of watching it. I, I watch that. Right, I've got that. And also, there's a bit of worn, smooth here. And the inside, as I say, the only bit of trouble you really need to go to is on this inside edge. You know, it wants to be glass smooth, if possible. Otherwise, you've got to dig in your wrist and hurt uh, it. And then you'll sling it 
just like I would probably clean this. But you see, it doesn't take long. And now we've got a, already, look, a nice antique copper bracelet. And it's not took long at all, has it? So there we are. We'll see if I can get it on. See, you had to bend it to put it on. And now, like that. Might polish it up again just a bit. But that wants to come out a bit, so it needs a tiny bit of fitting. But there we are. That side's all right. It's still a that's in in a bit. I've got to pull the ends out a little bit. So I'm going to do that. But there we are. Not took long, you see, has it? And we've got a a nice copper bracelet. But like I said, because I've got such thin wrists, I have a bit of a job with bracelets and that they watches tended to ride up here and irritate me so we'll see how it goes so i'll just finish fitting that but that's it a copper bracelet for you well, i've been messing about and fitting it a bit as you can see but because i've got such a as i say a thin wrist if i put it there if i have it any looser it comes over there it's quite loose look you can see you can see that look Fairly loose look, but it won't come off and it's not too tight. But I've had to grip it that side. I've had to grip it there, just lightly, and leave it a bit wider. So we'll see how it goes, but it feels fairly comfortable at the minute. If I undo that any more, and it's ever so easy to bend it, just grip that, that's taking it off, you see. See what I mean? It bends ever so easily. But that and loose you know you just got to fit it there we are copper bracelet in 10 minutes eh